Good evening. More Mass Effect. Let's jump into it. Right. Heading back to a planet that looks a lot like Mars, but is not Mars. Hell, how many are there? The whole facility's been converted. I've seen this before. Machine cultists. The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Red, red. Shit.
Looks like we're out of here. <coughs> that was fucking creepy. I have my language, but <laughs> there's no other way to describe what I just witnessed. Shit, loads of people turned into basic electronic, basically electronic zombies, coming at me in swarms, and I'm like frantically trying to not die. Okay. That's that. Still two things. Debris anomalies. Oh yeah, right, so they were intentionally crashing, once they were turned, they must have been intentionally crashing to get more people, causing people to crash.
stuffed up. Can't remember if I check out the debris or not. Checked out the debris. That's right, I did. There was some scavengers over here. What we took out. What's this one left? It's probably another transmission tower that's jamming up big APS signals. I can't be too pleased with my driving. I guess that's why they call some of these buggies. This one's relatively flat. For a while. I don't know if that makes it better or worse.
The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. If I remember correctly, last time there was still some decent loot in here, so...
Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so that I think that was the creature. This is the out or control thing, I think. Transmission. I can't remember what they called it. Transmission station, maybe? that done. The other creature. I'm gonna save as I get close. Close enough.
to kill the shit and the tentacles then. Had it that time.
Hey, I think I killed it. Heading to position. Like an escape pod. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the I don't plan? see how we could have done things any better. We were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship. We'll talk another Commander. time. Yes, there's nothing new to talk about then.
Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Looking for supplies? How often will you get new items? Well, that, and check back often. I need no problem. Keep checking back. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What are the biotics asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently they'd like the chairman to reconsider. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving him would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out.
that's it when it comes to survey. Intruders! Kill the hostage! Keep hurry, they're gonna kill him! See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will Absolutely. take another leave. I had no idea that the L2 by the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Then you weren't doing your job. The Fifth Plate Cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up.
Um. Oh, I'm the only one who's got grenades. That to prevent them from accidentally killing me. <laughs> Probably. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Gosh.
bottomless tail. Right, so I actually know where she is. So she could be on this planet, she could be on a different one. Hostile. It's been on the side. Hmm. Guess I can't get over there yet.
probably look at what I'm picking up a bit more. Sniper rifle, pistol, and assault rifle.
I'm gonna still uh, octopus. In a weird way. Probably so.
that hip gonna come back? I don't want it to, but I'm expecting it to.
Hey, what the fuck is that? Okay.
aside from the Citadel, I mean. Built to last. Looks like a lava flow port in here. You're saying? Okay, what happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not a... I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. So I hid it. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier.
I don't know what the override sequence is. So just have to guess it. the barrier we have to get you out of here before more geth arrive yes you're right i've seen enough of them to last a lifetime that button should shut down my containment field any idea how we get out of this place there is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What 
the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper. Okay, so it's gonna get stuck somewhere along the way, I'm guessing. Reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Is this really the time? The atmosphere is perfect for our life and death struggle. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. 
According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Oh. I assume I can talk to people again. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. 
Not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Speak for It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colleagues. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the I door? signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps. I mean. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships there How'd you end up on the north? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Talk to the crew. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? I've never worked with him before this mission. But he tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not what easy. does that have to do with Well, it? most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was... What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just How did you end up lucky. serving? I enlisted right out of med school. But humanity needs the... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Sorry, I already asked her. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen, but I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. It means a lot to hear you say that. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. Sounds dangerous. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. Pe matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never... I only meant that you would be... A Relax, it was a joke. Study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could... Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and comp- Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I'd like to know we more We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. 
My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy, like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species. Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with... We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial... We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other... What happens to your partner? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single income. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to Think serve. about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then I am what is sometimes called a pureblood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. You might be right. I hope you are. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She... Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partner. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia is? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my... I thought you always... You... I... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. Maybe she won... Bene... Many Asari raised their children alone, particularly... Do you know why Benezia joined... I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become... Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't None it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the Is this an is. official evaluation, Commander? Or off the Elenko. What is That's a generous ad. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of... Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the... Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't... Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was, sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumor some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. A little after the discovery. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. A bunch of guys in suit show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? Yeah, that's but the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we have. It's where they did all the Goose Chase FTL research before we caught on to using Mass Effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every... We didn't have much to do, though. 
was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. You know of any intentional exposures? No one was different. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives above. Jump Zero is a long way from home. The grand gateway to you. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. It's a big galaxy, Lieutenant. If you, you know. say besides, I've got my pass. Is this my quarters? Didn't realize this was here. Why did you want to be a CSEC? That's a good question. There like what? Probably the same as most. I guess my father had something I grew up hearing about as a cop. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed. My father's you. a CSEC man to the bone. Thinks I'm being too rash. Too. He actually talked me out of becoming a specter when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a specter? Well, I was targeted as a possible specter candidate. Me and a battle. I could have received special training, but he despises the specters. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course, but Saren's not going to play by our... If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted. Don't get caught up in the details, Garrus. We'll find him and then we'll stop. Good Thanks, Commander. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. Did you have any? All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but, uh, I, with all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. This At is the most advanced ship in the Alliance. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance? I'm not ally. sure I'd call the Council race. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall... You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an... Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much... It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all... I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have it to won't work. be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the I'm last? I'm sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Not everyone has a happy family life. I know. 
But I'm not gonna bet she's on our side just because Benezia didn't hug. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. What's your opinion on the land? I'm sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her... Not everyone has... Too bad those ruins got destroyed. We'll I mean, talk later. Looking please. forward to it, sir. Commander? We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Good. Saren. He's right. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have. I thought I was important. I'll decide what's important. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the... They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. He wasn't that open. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took... I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he... I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? I don't know. All I... If there was anything of value on... That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you yeah. saw Yeah. Didn't... But my inst... Every other merc on that mission... Turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Are your people really dying? We're... We're too spread out. None Lots of, us, of species have left? We're not. So we leave. So long, Rex. Shepard. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time. I'll tell her, her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to You've got team. an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. You can't hide it? a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to do. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give it. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented hours silent running and they overheat cook us inside our own hull there's no way for anyone to detect us a visual scan can still pick us up anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day but you have to be pretty most vessels rely on scanners as long as the stealth systems are engaged they can't see us not unless why doesn't it work with basketball? cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks as soon as we make the jump it's like setting off a Sensors can right. pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Where else have you served? You yeah. name a class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carrier. My last assignment was on the Tokyo, only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. I want to know more about the She's Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on, probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus What's so driver. special about the Tantalus Fortunately, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Carry on, Adam. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But it's more than just the silence. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here... Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. 
I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the Mike. I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, that's everyone. Except Joker. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Saving my boots from burning lava is part of your job, Joker. We don't get metal figures. Just get me a nice card and a cake. No coconut, though. I hate that crap. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? You want me as your pilot. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in I'm my I'm sorry, body. Joker. I didn't you mean... even know you were... Okay. Even... Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get I up. I need to know more about this yeah, of course you do. It's not to classify my cape. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky I'm not me. trying to make you uncomfortable. Whatever you want, Commander. I have to go. All right, see ya. Okay, so he's got nothing new. Urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the.
Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Okay, I am gonna leave it there. Faster than light drives use larger warp ship. Faster than light drive. What? What? Okay. Cool. So now I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the, the link will be in the description below. <laughs> Okay, so I'll probably be on on Thursday night. Till next time, see you later.